because from the male perspective, the only reason I committed to my wife or made her my girlfriend is because she had already proven to me she could meet my sexual needs. She had proven to me that we could hang out with each other and have a good time. She, she had demonstrated to me that she makes her own money, that she's not selfish, that she's not materialistic. She has shown me that she has the type of personality, the nurturing uh, mentality, that she would be a great mother. That's I could tell by the way that other people interacted with her, that she was somebody that was well-respected, that, that did not get into bullshit altercations, that did not create turmoil and drama. I experienced all those things just from us hanging out and having conversations. That's why I was comfortable with being boyfriend and girlfriend with her. See how that works? I was perfectly cool with fucking multiple chicks too. But she kind of put the pressure on to get in a committed relationship. I was cool being single. I, I, I put off getting in a committed relationship with her for a whole year. Just because I wanted to enjoy my senior year in college. That's the difference between somebody that is actually enjoying their dating experience... Choosing to get in a relationship. I didn't have to state that I was dating with the purpose or none of that bullshit because that is already understood. You don't have to tell somebody that you're doing something with the purpose if something already has a purpose on it. I don't have to say I'm going live on Instagram with a purpose. Do I? I don't need to say I'm driving with a purpose. I'm driving to get from where I'm at to where I want to go, just like everybody else. I'm going to take a shit for a purpose. Right? If something already has a purpose built in it, you don't have to declare that you're doing it for that purpose. True or false? Am I saying anything that, that's rocket science that don't make sense? Right? Right? No, no, nobody had to say, I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner for a purpose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We already know what the fuck you're cooking Thanksgiving dinner for. We already know what you're driving your car for. We already know what you're dating for, too. So, let me get to some of my, some of my notes that I have typed up on this. Um, okay. So another thing that I see that that kind of fuels this dating for a purpose mindset is a lot of women. I, I talk about it all the time. They have. I don't know if it's just selective views on the things they they engage, they get from being involved with men, but it's they definitely don't view everything that they be, that all the benefits that they get from being involved with the men with a man. Like in most instances, when a woman dates a man and it does not turn into a committed relationship, you see the, oh, I wasted my time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like they just instantly erase everything that they got out of it. All the things they learned, all the things they experienced, all the things they enjoyed, all the, the, all the quality time that they got, all the things that made them want him to be their man. They, they instantly erase all those things and act like, all we got, all that happened was we had sex. All he wanted was sex. When that very, very, very rarely represents the dynamic between a man and a woman. In almost every instance where a man or woman have sex outside of prostitution or some shit like that, it involves the basic process of how men and women interact with one another. They met, there was an attraction. They exchange contact information. They communicate it. They, they put together a time to meet up in person. And that inter physical face-to-face in, uh, -face interaction eventually led to them fucking or kissing or whatever they ended up doing. It was not just some, hey, can I just get some pussy and some head from you? And that's it? Can we never do anything together? Can we never go anywhere together? Can we never discuss our thoughts and feelings? Can we never discuss our past? Can we never discuss our ambitions? Can we never do anything else except just occasionally meet up and fucking suck each other? That does not represent reality. That's not why women fall in love. That's not why women try to pressure men to be their men. 
So when women act like, if all you want is sex, just tell me. The fuck are you saying? Who's going to just come up to you and say, hey, all I want is some pussy. What man is going to do that? What man is just going to come up to a woman and say, hey, I just wanted to know if you suck dick. Does that sound like a smart approach? Does that sound like a realistic way for a man to approach a woman? Does that sound like how a gentleman is going to approach a woman? No. So why would you set that expectation? So if he didn't just say, oh, I just wanted to only fuck. He didn't just say that because he didn't just want to only fuck. He wanted to see if you like Dave and Buster's. He wanted to see if you like this restaurant. He wanted to see how you felt about seafood. He wanted to see if y'all like the same music so y'all could go to the same type of concerts. He wanted to see if you like Six Flags. He wanted to see if you enjoyed different shit. So why the fuck would he come up to you and say all he wanted to do is, to do is fuck you? See how unrealistic that expectation is? See why it doesn't happen? So even when a man is transparent and explains how men date, man, I like you, you cool. Shit, I thought you was fine. I saw you in your outfit. He explains to you why he approached you. He thought you was fine. He liked what he saw. He sparked up some conversation with you. You seemed cool. He, the conversation was full. Y'all was laughing and joking. He got your contact information so he could set it up to where y'all could talk and meet up in the future. Y'all started doing shit that y'all both enjoyed, bowling, going to the movies or whatever. And your pussy got wet and his dick got hard and that's how y'all ended up fucking. But you got to decide if y'all fucked or not. You're the gatekeeper on whether sex or happen, happens or not. True or false? Unless a woman gets raped, she's the person that decides whether or not.